What is up, my friends? Welcome to Flow, your 14-day jump rope journey. Today is day seven. We are halfway through our journey together. Can you believe it? Today, we are learning new footwork patterns. So let's get to work. Welcome back to day seven of our journey together. I am so happy to have you here and super proud of you for continuing to show up and giving yourself an opportunity to learn something new that speaks deeply of your character and is super healthy for the human spirit. Before we begin, I invite you to go grab a chair because we're working new footwork patterns today. They're gonna to require some balance and this is just gonna help a lot with the learning process. If you don't have a chair nearby, totally okay. You could try putting the hand on the wall or just balance. Everything's gonna be okay. If you have one, go grab it. If not, let's get started. I invite you to find some space to follow along with me and allow my voice to guide you. We're standing with the feet, shoulder width apart, nice long spine, proud chest. Take a big breath in, reach up and exhale, let it down. There we go, roll those shoulders out. We're getting in the zone. Let's start with our ankle warm up. Spread the toes nice and wide, rooting through the platforms. Inhale, float up. Tune into the foundation here. We want even pressure through that platform. Slowly lower down to the ground. Great, inhale, lift up. And exhale, take it down. I like to do the arm thing. You're welcome to do the arm thing or not. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, take it down. Slow and controlled, nice soft landing, silent landing in the heel. Here we go, inhale up. Exhale down. Great, go ahead and step the feet slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Take it down into a small squat, a little mini squat. We're pushing the knees out, keeping the chest up. Let's bring the hands out to the sides like we're holding a gigantic beach ball. While we're here, pull the shoulders down and back, creating space between the shoulders and the ears. Spread the toes nice and wide, root through the foundation and float up. Find your balance and take it down slow, slow and controlled. And inhale, take it up. Exhale and take it down, landing softly on the ground. Don't make a sound. Uh-oh, <laughs> the rhymes are strong today. Inhale up, exhale down. Sometimes I just can't help myself. Inhale up, exhale down. Last time, inhale up, exhale down. Awesome, rise to standing, bring the feet together and find that spring. Find that spring, we're warming up the ankle joints. You can step it out side to side, front to back. I encourage you to start loading up one side with a little more weight. Kind of like we're preparing for the boxer skip because our first variation, our first footwork variation is gonna be a variation of the boxer skip. So let's hit that boxer skip. Okay, find a tempo that feels good for you. Bouncing that weight side to side, landing softly, creating a good rhythm. Great, now I challenge you to do three consecutive jumps on the same side. Go ahead and watch me. If you want to see what that looks like, I'm going to go one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Great. Remember, we want tiny bounces here. Landing softly, keeping that back heel off the ground if you can. Great, relax it slow and controlled back to the ground. Awesome. So when we're doing the boxer skip, we have that dominant leg that's supporting most of the body weight, and we have our supporting leg, which 
as far as we've been doing is just tapping down with the toe but we can also hit the ground with the heel like that it's going to get a different sound out of the ground the toe tapping down is very high pitched the heel is lower pitched has a little more depth to it we can put those together to create like a drum sound with our feet we can go try it on the other leg hit the ground with the heel hit it with the toe you'll notice that when you hit it with the heel the leg is a little more extended compared to when we hit it with the toe we get a little more bend in it so because of that we're gonna heel strike the ground in front of the body rather than directly underneath us so let's try this we're gonna go three counts three count sequence we're gonna go toe heel toe and then switch toe a heel a toe and switch a toe a heel a toe a toe a heel a toe focusing on landing softly and getting a good sound from the ground I invite you to join me if you have not already Remember to breathe, remember to keep that core tight, landing softly. And relax. <laughs> Great work. So that was a three count pattern. We could do two count patterns. Maybe we go heel, toe, and then we switch heel, toe. So we get a boom, ta ka, ta boom, ta ka, ta boom, ta ka, ta boom, ta pa, ta boom, ta pa. The boom, the pop. And when we add the rope in, we're gonna hear chicka doom, chicka ta, chicka doom, chicka ta, chicka doom, chicka ta, chicka doom, chicka ta. So, all sorts of combinations. The possibilities are endless. You can do whatever you want. Let's talk about our next boxer skip variation, which is a cross step. We're gonna follow that same three count sequence. We go out, cross, open. And then we switch, open, cross, open, open, cross, open, open, cross, open, open, cross. Go ahead and join me. Okay, we're landing on the platform on both feet, staying light, keeping those toes spread wide. If you wanna make this look nice, you can follow your foot with your nose but you don't have to do that. Remember to breathe. Awesome. Gonna bring it to a hold and relax. Pause for the airplane and we're back. Let's try stringing together combinations of our toe heel toe pattern and our open cross open pattern. We'll do 12 counts of the toe, heel, toe. And 12 counts of open, cross, open, open, cross, open, open, cross, open, open, cross, open. As we do this, try not to feel pressured to nail this. <laughs> it's supposed to be fun. And these numbers are just so we have something to go off of. They're not set in stone. I encourage you to be artistic and do whatever you want. Here we go. 12 counts, toe, heel, toe. 12 counts, open, cross, open. We're going in a one, two, a one, two, ready, and a toe, heel, toe, a toe, heel, toe, a toe, heel, toe, toe, heel, go. Open, cross, open, open, cross, open, open, cross, open, open, cross, open, toe, heel, toe. And bring it to a hold. Relax. I ticked. <laughs> you may or may have not seen it. <laughs> but that's okay. There's no right or wrong answers here. We're just having a good time and enjoying movement. Go ahead and grab some water, and we're going to learn our second pattern.
So our next fancy footwork pattern is called shuffling. And beneath the umbrella of shuffling, these two patterns, I believe, are called the running man and the alternate running man. Looks like this. You may have seen it. You might have also seen it where the platform hits the ground every time. But I like to have the front foot toes up. And here's the alternate, switching it. It's just a fun way to play with time. So as we learn this, now's the time to use that chair if you have it. So there's two shapes that we want to tune into. This first one here is straddling the feet to a triangle. Okay, try to see the triangle beneath your body. And imagine three lines here. There's a line on your back leg, a line directly beneath you, and a line beneath your front heel. Okay, back foot is on the platform, front foot is on the heel. From here, we're gonna take that front leg, place it beneath us, and drive the back leg towards the chest. A little look like this. Now we look like a flamingo. Okay, we went from the triangle to a flamingo. The higher you drive the knee towards the chest and the harder you point the toe down, the sharper this is gonna look. But if you don't really care about that right now, that's okay, you can just relax that foot. From here, take the elevated leg and that's gonna be the lead leg. And now we're back to the triangle. Okay, from here, the front foot comes beneath us. Hit the flamingo. Take it to the triangle. Hit the flamingo. To the triangle. Go ahead and join me if you haven't already. We want to make sure that back foot hits the ground before the front foot does when we hit our triangle. So we get one, two, one. One, two, one. Feel free to pick up the pace if you're feeling comfortable with it. This kind of feels like standing mountain climbers. <laughs> Great, relax. So next, let's talk about the alternate running man, which is very similar. First, we hit that triangle, boom. And then we hit the flamingo, and then we take it back to where we came from. So it's a starting position here. So the flamingo leg shoots back now. We're all just keeping it on the same side. And then when you're ready, you switch the lead leg. And you do the same thing. Okay, instead of switching sides, we're just keeping it all on the same side until you're ready to switch. Go ahead and try this on your own. And relax. Awesome job. So let's try that standing now without the chair. So I'm going to move the chair out of the way. Let's start with the running man. I'm going to put my arms up here just to help with balance. So we're on the platforms. Hit the triangle. Balance. And hit the flamingo. Triangle. Flamingo. The slower we go, the more challenging this is, just because we have to balance for a longer period of time. So if you're feeling a little wobbly, just know that is totally normal. You can pick up the pace if you feel more comfortable with it. And as I pick up the pace, it feels a little better to bring the hands down to the side. Tune into the articulation at the ankle joint. Are the toes up or the toes down? Trying to look sharp. <laughs> Trying to get that visual credit we deserve. <laughs> Great, relax. And let's try the alternate running man. I'm going to utilize two on each side. So it's gonna go one, two, switch, two, switch, one, two, switch. So I'm hitting two flamingos, 
okay? Hitting two flamingos. I want you to know that I would never hit two flamingos <laughs> unless they were attacking me, then that's a different story. All right, anyways, <laughs> let's try this together. Okay, two flamingos on both sides. Stand up nice and tall, find that platform. Here we go. One, two, one, two, ready, and one, two, switch, one, two, switch. Stay light on the platforms. Remember to hit that back foot before the front foot. And you can get loose with it, relax the arms. You can create your own combos. Maybe you want to stick with the running man and just hit just the alternate. You could do whatever you want. It's just a way to transition from side to side. Slow it down and relax. All right, great work. Grab some water and we're gonna do it with the rope. Where's my water? There it is. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm gonna start with single arm side swings on one side and I'm just gonna work the running man. Trying to make sure that rope clips the ground before that back foot does. So we get chicka doom. I encourage you to join me if you have not already. And if you're not able to get that nice crisp rhythm yet, that is okay, that is normal. Your body is learning a new pattern. Feel free to throw in some of that variation. Always making sure that back foot hits before the front foot. We're breathing, doing a great job. You can take it up level by crossing your body. You may be even doing some handoffs. And relax. Ooh, nice toe catch. All right, great work. Let's try it now, jumping over the rope. As we do this, we want to make sure that rope clears the back foot first. Okay, really tune into the rope, clearing the ground, and then hitting the ground with the back foot. I'll demonstrate here. Here we go. If you look closely, you'll see the rope is clipping the ground, and then I'm landing with my back leg. It's okay to hit the rope and get back in. Why don't you go ahead and join me if you'd like. Starting in a one, a two, a duck a duck, duck a duck, ready, and. Tune into your flamingo shape. <laughs> Tune into your flamingo. <laughs> Go ahead and try some of the variation. Take it back. Keeping that core tight, using the wrists. Chest is up, core is tight. And 
and slow it down. <laughs> Great work. Great work. Grab some water and we're going to try our boxer skip variations with the rope. All right, we're bringing it back. We're reviewing our boxer skip variations. There were two we covered earlier. We had the toe heel toe combo and we had the open cross open combo. I'm gonna start with the rope on one side and we still wanna hear that rhythm. Go ahead and check me out. I'm gonna do 12 counts of toe heel toe and 12 counts of open cross open. One, two, one, two, ready, and. Open, cross, open, open, cross, open. Okay, that's the exercise. Feel free to join me if you'd like. Don't feel pressured to nail this exercise exactly how I'm doing it. All we're doing is just playing with those two combinations and you could do it however you'd like. Here we go. If you'd like to join me, we're going in one, two, one, two, ready, and. Open, cross, open. Toe, heel, toe. Open, cross, open. Again. Keep fighting for that rhythm. And relax. Great work, great work. You may or may not have been able to achieve a clean rhythm yet, and if not, that is okay, that is normal. But just understand that over time, it's gonna have a much stronger musical drive the cleaner that rhythm is. Um, but it's totally normal to not get it right away. Here we go. Let's try that same exercise now, jumping over the rope so it'll look like this. Open, cross, open. And it will loop from there. Feel free to move at my tempo or move a little faster, move a little slower. Just take this time to explore these patterns. Here we go. If you're joining me, we're starting in a one, two, a one, two, ready, and. Two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. Open, cross, open. Back to the top. Staying light, core tight. Breathing. Again. Again, keep it up. You're doing a great job. If you clip yourself, just get back in. Last time. And relax. Wow, great work. That was awesome. That was awesome. And you may or may not have felt comfortable doing that today. And if you did, great. If you didn't, just know that is a normal part of learning anything. <sighs> Sorry, I need to catch my breath. <sighs> Anytime we're learning something new, it will feel a little clumsy and uncomfortable at first. But the more we do it, the more we practice it, the more our mind and body are able to work together to just make it smooth and effortless. We'll get there. We will get there. With that said, that is all for today. You did a fantastic job learning new things. And 
Let me know how you did. Let me know how you're feeling. Thank you again so much for doing this with me. It is such an honor and privilege to guide you on this journey. I'll see you tomorrow for day eight. Take care.